Hello there, my name is Miles Williams. This is a Township Tale. I'm here to show you today the use of a multi-tool. A multi-tool can be used in different ways that allows you to reduce the amount of space used in your backpack. So, what you're gonna need is a handle. Now there's different kinds of handles you can use, but they generally need to be wood because wood allows for lantern holds. So, right now on this table, we have all the resources we're going to need and all the tools we're gonna to be using. Now, I have laid out a couple of things here. For instance, you can change the different type of axe you want to use. It is not necessary to use one axe over the other. That's complete preference. Although the Crescent Axe does more damage to Goterra's, it's not guaranteed that your server may have that available to you. So any axe will do. Okay, so let's get started smelting down the stuff we're gonna need. First, we're gonna need here is the two-sided connector piece for horizontal pieces. That'll allow us to connect each axe to our shovel here. Our shovel is used for digging spots and uh, it's very useful because you can find things like gold or red iron ingots or even mithril from picking up uh, geocaches. So very useful. Always keep a shovel with you. Ah, here we go. And that goes Okay, that goes there. <laughs> One thing must be noted is that this tool does not fit in your slot when you have a head on it, whether it be the axe head or the shovel head or what have you. When it gets too big, it will not fit inside of your pocket. It can now, it's because it's not complete. But once you put an axe head on this, it won't be able to. So, one quick thing I'm gonna show you is, you have, if you go to the workshop and get yourself a holster for your backpack, you can place your tool in your holster, just like so and your lantern will stay lit when it is in the holster. That way it provides a light source while on your backpack. You can even light it with two pieces of flint from your backpack holster. Putting it on your back and taking it off before you put on any heads allows you to orientate it so that you know where the front is. If you want the front to be where the attacking enemy is, you're gonna wanna at least know that this is the front, this is the back, this is the top or bottom. Let's get started smelting down some uh, some heads, shall we? And finally, your dagger. Okay, all of our pieces are done. One thing I should note is that if you have an extra long handle, and let's say you don't have access to the smaller handle, you can use this connector piece for the middle of a long handle and still be able to attach yeah. your hunting knife. So that hopefully, when we put it there, ah, see the shovel? Shovel's on the back. Nice. All right, we're almost done. Final piece is our hunting knife. Valedictions, lords and lordesses. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'd like to give a very heartfelt shout out to Pink Lemon for all of his tremendous help making this video. I'd also like to make a shout out to the townsfolk of Aurora Valley. May the gods protect you on your journey. Lastly, I'd like to close with a thank you to all of you viewers who came by. It has been an absolute honor having you, and hopefully my multi-tool can help you tell your own stories in a township tale. Thank you, and voila.